Welcome to the hot seat. Uh, this is going to be a different kind of hot seat tonight. I'm excited to have this group of guys in the chat with us. Uh, we have the North Texas Barbecue Addicts in the house. The main member is Kenneth Cunningham from West New Barbecue. He's got Justin with them. He's got Paul with them. He's got Adam with them. So we're going to have a nice time talking with all these gentlemen tonight. But before we get to those guys, we're going to get over to Kent. Kent, say hi to the people. Kent from Daddy Does Barbecue. What is happening, everybody? It's going to be a fun night. I'm a little jealous of uh, Adam's outdoor kitchen that they're in, but them open air kitchens, they don't work so well in uh, January in Iowa. So nice looking uh, setup, guys. Thanks, brother. All right, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to give out little shout outs to our people in the chat. First of all, our moderators, we have uh, Keith Betex keeping score for us. We got Meatheads in there, Meat Cranium, sorry. Uh, Dan for Smoky Goodness. Hobo Nickel Barbecue's in there. Miss Booger from Booger 500 US, Air Fryer Recipes. Whew. Uh, let's see. Fitz Chevy's in there. Uh, <laughs> Son of a Pizza Man's in there. LT from R Shack Barbecue. Uh, Josh and Babe are there. How you doing? Good to see you guys. 1984 Barbecue Eastwood Farms is there. BG Barbecue, Barbecue Grill Masters Empire. Chandler Lyles was the first one in the in the the chat, so he's off to a good start with our uh, with our employee from the East Coast. We got uh, Canadian Gems in there. Off the Wall Barbecue. Tom's Food Factory, Shane, Never Trust the Skinny Chef, Polly Q, Mega Fred Zeppelin, Dave's Ohio Barbecue, Jacqueline's Dad, Pickles Barbecue, Big Kano's in the house, uh, Ray Guy, and I think that's it. Andrew Halton, how you doing? Repping the NTBA OG hats. Yep. Chris from Eastwood Farms, cooking with cultural creations. Ken Rogers, how you doing, buddy? Delena, what's going on? Keep bed tag is always keep a score. We have 33 people in the chat. Guys, uh, we got a lot of people here to talk to you tonight. So make sure you share this on your social media. Let's get some butts in these seats. I see we got Tom's Tinkering in there and Tom's Food Factory. Blake Edwards, what up? How you doing? All right, we're up to 44. Rick's back, Blackstone and Barbecue. Oh, sorry, Rick's Barbecue and Blackstone. What up, Rick? How you doing? All right. Chicken fried barbecues in the house. I think that's it. All right, cool. I'm going to take a breath. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, All right, guys. That's a, that's, a, that's a large introduction there, brother. Yeah, man, that's, I, I that takes it out of me a little bit. All right, guys. <laughs> the, uh, CJ's workout for the week. I know. <laughs> I think I pulled a hammy. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Uh, our guests this week are the some charter members of the North Texas Barbecue addicts so we're gonna let them introduce themselves we got we'll start with kenneth cunningham say hi to everybody what's up guys it's me kenneth uh happy to be here on the hot seat uh to be able to share with you about our barbecue community that we put together um you know it's something special so it's awesome for cj to let us get on here and you know really spotlight that appreciate y'all for being here all right justin paul adam hey guys i'm justin belter it's great to be here this 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 is great experience for all of us. Um, be here, sitting here, ask us questions. We want to know what you guys thinking, and we're gonna answer anything you got. Hey, I'm Paul Pan Fry Stewart. Uh, absolutely, I'm gonna echo what Justin said that we're here to answer questions and uh, you know have a good time and uh, look forward to seeing what y'all have to say. Hey y'all, I'm Adam Shaw. I don't know who the hell these guys are. They just <laughs> showed up in my house. Took over my grill. <laughs> said we were doing a video. I said, "What the fuck? Why not?" So, dude, just dude, just to, showed uh, up in your to house. My outdoor kitchen. <laughs> right on. All right, cool. Welcome, guys. It's great to have you all on. Um, the way we're kind of work this out tonight, we're gonna have them. You know, a couple in, a couple out. You know, we'll. You know, they'll all be around to answer questions, but is to keep the peace and keep everybody from like you know talking over each other. We'll uh, we'll keep it, you know. Kenneth's gonna play referee over there. Go ahead, Kent. Um, everybody in the chat, if you have a question directly for uh, Kenneth, Adam, Justin, Paul, put their name in. 
just put my name at Daddy Dutch Barbecue, put their name in the question if you want it directed at somebody specifically. So, all right, cool, guys. Pit Life Barbecue, Johnny Mags is in the house. MD's Country Cooking's there. Frag Daddy, Brad Carter, Dad Incredible, and my favorite channel name of all, it's all about the rack. He's in the house. All right, guys. View to a grill and Kelvin's Kitchen. What's up, guys? I'll shout out other people as we see them. We are also doing something a little different tonight. Hey, Garage Gr Griller, how you doing? We are doing um, uh, okay, so Meg, oh, uh, Mega Fred, I'll have uh, uh, Dutch tell him that, guys. We are doing something different tonight. As you guys know, the North yeah, Texas shout out to you, North Texas Barbecue Addicts are uh, big supporters of stuff like Jack Charity. I'm going to let Kenneth kind of talk about that. But any and all proceeds from tonight, from tonight's hot seat, we're not doing super shots tonight. I mean, I'm going to shoot some you know, whiskey, and I'm sure Kent will. And Kenneth okay. and all the boys are drinking over there, too. But any and all donations come in Super Chats, Snyder Super Shots uh, will be donated, all the proceeds, so after YouTube takes their healthy cut, will be donated to Tough Like Jack. So, you know, we appreciate anybody, you know, they want to give, just hit that little uh, dollar sign, give what you can. But, you know, it's a big, big thing to support that family. So, Kenneth, right quick, why don't you talk about Tough Like Jack, okay? Yeah, I appreciate it uh, again, CJ, for letting me be on here. And, uh, you know, most importantly, you know, let's take a step back from from North Texas Barbecue Addicts and let's talk about uh, Tough Like Jack. You know, um, you know, we do Super Chats all the time on here and it goes towards channels and, and bettering channels and, and bettering the quality of them. But tonight, what I really wanted to make sure if we do some Super Chats, we want to make sure that those go to toughlikejack.com, um, you know, Jack. He was diagnosed with uh, brain stem cancer as a, a five-year-old. By the time he was six, year old, six years old, he had passed away from, from that, um, you know. So, you know, there's not enough words that can be said for that. So we want to make sure that if y'all are willing to give 100% to, uh, you know, you know, we understand YouTube gets their cut, you know, the so on and so forth. But, but what we do want to make sure is that we get that word spread, and if, if y'all are willing to donate to that foundation, we'd love to have y'all do that. So, again, I appreciate y'all for, for allowing me to kind of alter those rules there. Right on, right on. All right, so that's how we're going to roll tonight with that, with the Super Shots. Uh, I got my whiskey set up. I know Ken's got his booze ready to go. Kent, go ahead, buddy. Um, KC, one thing about it with all this going to Tough Like Jack, my liver also thanks you tonight. <laughs> oh, you're not. You're not getting off tonight for super shots. You still gotta take them. Uh, nope. Nope. All right, cool. All right, good talk. All right. So, along with that, we also have some other good news. We've had a couple. Hey, Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, the first donation of the night. Thanks, sir. Twenty dollars, buddy. Twenty dollars. Well, oh, that is awesome. what the hell. All right, what the hell? Cheers. Mm. That first one's tough. God damn it. All right, Bill. Thank you, brother. Asshole. Asshole. Love you. All right. So there is no no price. My, no price on uh shots tonight. Kenneth, what what is that bottle you guys keep showing in the thing? So Adam brought us a couple of his uh his special reserves. What you, Adam, let us know what, what's in this bad boy right here. We got some Jack Daniels going on in the kitchen. Oh, that looks naughty. Little gentleman Jack right here. A little tequila if you're feeling frisky. Ooh. All right. All right. I dig it. I dig it. All right, guys. So being that you have all that good stuff in there, just let's remember this is a marathon, not a race. I, I, oh, I don't want to cut anybody off. America. America. <laughs> America. Exactly. Oh, Miss Booger dropped the 20 spot in there too. Much love, Kenneth. Uh, with the Fs. I love it. So I'm I got one port, so I'll, I'll take it with you guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh, good stuff. All right. What we got here? All right, all right. Uh, oh, so the other thing we got going on tonight, we have a couple of giveaways from a couple of the North Texas Barbecue Attic Addicts uh, members. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we got Dan Wright from Wright's Barbecue Company has donated a Beef Lovers Pack for a giveaway tonight. 
<laughs> so what we'll do is we'll just ask a question here and there. Uh, you know, we'll figure them out, okay? Uh, and then the other one, and I saw Kim Petrie in there. So her and Michael, uh, Michael Petrie from Heaven Made Products have also donated six, six bottles. What do you say, Did, Kenneth? Six bottles? Was that yeah? Uh, Michael Petrie, uh, shout out to Heaven Made Products. He uh, he decided that tonight, you know, periodically, whenever Kent and CJ decide, we'll do the Heaven Made Products giveaways. Um, six of the the I believe it's eight ounce, maybe ten ounce bottles. Um, but we're gonna do all its Incredibles because you know that's that's the one that'll get you hooked. That's what I'm right on, right on. All yeah, right, here, here's the deal, Kenneth. I need you to keep track of who wins for Michael and I'll keep track of who wins for, uh, 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 Dan. Okay. I, I, I will do that. Um, can we get a little notepad possibly? Yeah. yeah. Just whenever's ready. Whenever, whenever the time's right, we'll get a we'll notepad write we'll write it down and we'll get it to Mr. Petrie. Um, but most importantly, thank you, Michael Petrie for, for always supporting brother. Yep. And same with uh, Mr. Ride. All right. And, and I Mr. saw Ryan, 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 just drop 20, 20 bucks in there, uh, 20 bucks Canadian. And then Mr. Babyback Maniac, Justin. Who's that? Yep. Everybody loves Justin or Jason or whatever you want to call him. Does he uh, have a YouTube channel? What's that? Does he have a YouTube channel? I, I hear he has a YouTube channel. I, I hear he's trying, he's trying to convince him to start one. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you know, it's a little bit different this time. We have a lot of stuff to get out of the way, but this is for great causes. We have some great giveaways. We have a great guest. It's a little bit different. So the questions aren't going to be all the same, but we're going to roll with it. We're going to have some fun tonight. Obviously, we got the booth flowing already. Got plenty of super chats already coming in. That is awesome, you guys. That is freaking right there. I love it when you got when we do these kind of telethon type things on my channel and we raise money um, for the – we did the prostate cancer. We did all Harry Sue's when we, were, when we had them on, and we – I've I've sent out four different donations uh, to different charities based off of those things. So this will be my fifth one, and I love doing it. So this is awesome. All right, Leprechaun TV is in the house. How you doing, Lev? Good to see you. Another twenty bucks from It's All About the Rack, my favorite channel. F the Big C. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. wow. Great job, guys. Uh, Keith Bedtech says we have sixty-eight in the chat. Again, share this with the people. And get them going. If you have questions. Put them in there. Let's get it going. Whew. Are you guys ready? Kenneth, you ready? Yes, sir. All right. So let's just start with one of the obvious questions. Well, before I do that, Barbecue Grill Masters Empire, 20 bucks. Thank you, brother. Uh, he said, tough like Jack, love Big Rome out. Right on. All right. Uh, KC, what, what – and, and guys, uh, so Kenneth, you could kind of point them out as they go. What brought you guys together? What what brought this community together? Well, in order to really understand that, you got to start at the you know very beginning when uh, you know the love for barbecue happened. At least for me, let me you know talk for myself. You know on that part, you know um, love happened for barbecue, and you know I already was doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, me, me and my, you know, Hickory Heat, if y'all don't follow us on, on Facebook or, or every other social media platform, Hickory Heat Barbecue, um, we, we established that. We, we used to work together, me and my buddy Justin Belter here. We do the competitions. Um, you know, we're in charge of Tough Like Jack's competition, um, you know, and, and it really started when we had a potluck up at work. I mean, you know, Justin brought pulled pork and I brought ribs. And, you know, he was like, you know, two people brought barbecue. And so we, we, I tried his pulled pork. He tried my ribs. And he was like, you know, damn, those ribs are pretty good. And I was like, well, that pulled pork was damn good. You know, <laughs> so, so, you know, we're, we're, you know, that kind of stemmed a little bit there. And, you know, a little bit down the road, we we're like, we got something going on. We should start bringing some barbecue every week to the office. And, you know, we started doing Mondays. We're going to bring barbecue. Um, and then at that point, you know, we started looking on social media. Where can we share our pictures? You know, blah, blah, blah. We were a part of a, a, a – what was it? What was it? We won't say the name, but it was a small – towards the east side of Texas mm -hmm. uh, barbecue group. And every time we got on, we were the only ones posting. Nobody else was. 
And so we got together, started talking. He said, well, we can do this. And instead of it being in East Texas, we'll do North Texas because we're in North Texas. There wasn't really like a real like, hey, we want to come together vibe. And for me, when it comes to cooking, that's what it's all about. So, you know, we, we looked we looked for our area. You know, we wanted to share what we were doing and with people in our area. And, uh, you know, there really wasn't anything out there. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of how it stemmed about, um, you know, Adam. We're at his house right now. I've actually known Adam before barbecue even existed in my life. So. Um, you know, that's just a fun fact for everybody out there. Uh, I've known Adam for, for a long time before barbecue even happened. Um, and, and Paul, yeah, exactly. When my son was born, <laughs> uh, Paul, you know, I, I've known him through the duration of North Texas barbecue addicts. I, I had the, the opportunity and, uh, awesome ability to, to meet Paul through North Texas barbecue addicts. Right on, right on. All right, do me a favor, Kenneth. Look at the camera lens, not at the screen, at the chat or whatever. It looks like you're looking past me. It's freaking me out. All right, wow. we got, we got uh, West West Coast Cajun Cuisines in the House. Blevins in there cooking with Cad. How you doing? Heather with a bunch of hearts put on there. Very cool. Welcome, welcome. Uh, someone just put a $1.99 chat in there, a super chat, so thank you for that. He put in the comments 20 bucks, so I think he was trying to put a $20 chat, but it's it's tough. You got to figure that out sometimes. No big deal. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chandler Lyles is in the house. Welcome, welcome. All right. Okay. So when did it start? To, when did you start up that Facebook group? Uh, North Texas Barbecue Addicts actually started on June 16th, 2016, so – it's coming up on, uh, you know, the anniversary. It's It's been rolling. Um, you know, we started with about anywhere from 50 to 75 people um, from just in general, you know, our, our vicinity. So, you know, Princeton, Texas, McKinney, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Wiley, Texas. Um, started with 50 to 75 people with people that I just knew loved barbecue. Um, you know, and at that point, I thought it was a success. So, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, you know, this is saturated. You, everybody out there that, that cooks knows what it's like, you know, when you share on your regular Facebook, people are like, man, quit sharing food pictures, you know, whatever. So um, I thought that it was a success having 75 people that love barbecue at that time. Right on, right on. All right. Um, I want to know how they got their nicknames. All right. So, uh I believe it was Paul has a has a cool nickname. Yeah, so yeah, my uh, my nickname actually derived it's Pan Fry, even though Adam calls me Pan Free. But uh, <laughs> the uh, the nickname it derived from uh, my granddad. You know, the full is Salty Pan Fry, but you know it got when he used to do uh, fish fries all the time on his Coleman stove. That was a good childhood memory of mine and. You know, and I've uh, drove trucks and all that, so I kind of correlated everything that was dear to me and and something that was special to me. And then I was like, you know, that'd be a good handle. And so I started calling myself the Salt Pan Fry because of all the salt and cornmeal at the bottom of that iron skillet, you know, and everything, you know, after fish fry. So that kind of stuck. And you know, everybody's. I was heading down the road and say, how about you there, Pan Fry? And I was like, well, I'm just going to keep on keeping on with it. So that's that's where my nickname derived from. So <laughs> Right on, right on. Anybody else have a nickname they roll by? That's a, that's a, that's about it. You know, I call Justin Belter JB. Yeah, but, Belter. You know, Belter, <laughs> Godfather. You know, it's, you know it's, it's easy for me. It's easy for, <laughs> it's easy for me to remember Justin because that is actually my name, too. So it's it's easy to roll with, and the same with Baby Bag Maniac. You uh, gotta ask him if he's a Justin Timberlake fan. I don't know yet. Well, with, with the name like <laughs> Justin, you have to be a Justin Timberlake fan. Oh, all right. You know, I'll ask you. Oh, hey, Bill Brown got it right. We got the 1999 in there. Well, thanks a lot, brother. Appreciate it, Bill Brown. Uh, I also saw a couple other people in there. Uh, GT Barbecue, Andrew Hollin. My backyard, Andrew Halloween. Halloween, Andrew. Sorry. my backyard life and Dan's outdoor cooking was Good blind man. is in there too. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Leprechaun says his new nickname is Griddle Gangsta. I dig it. 
<laughs> suburban said, uh, suburban barbecue said, JT rocks, kind of. No, there's no kind of JT rocks. All right. All right. Well, let's, since Mega Fred is in the house, let's ask about music selection over there, guys. I wasn't going to go with my normal questions, but I saw Mega Fred, so we got to ask. That's who, a snake. Who love like what? Who loves Justin Timberlake first, and then what do you guys listen to? You? <laughs> <clears throat> who has kids out there? Uh, I think probably the better part of the people in the chat. So I have kids, and uh, did anybody see Trolls? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you start to get to understand uh, Justin Timberlake, <laughs> and to be quite honest. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, the guy's not bad. As you get older, the guy's not bad. That's awesome. Hey, the guy makes a lot of money and gets a lot of girls. So Justin Bieber, right? I yeah. mean, come on. All right. Who, all right, all right. Who I'm else? Coming. Who else? What what else are we listening to? You know, uh, y'all asked me this before. Um, I'll just answer real quick and let the other guys answer their music. But I love rock. I love rap. I mean, honestly, if we're being honest, I really love rap. Um, I love country. Um, anything but techno, I'll, I'll really get down with, to be honest with you. But uh, I'll let the other guys answer because y'all have heard that one from me before. <laughs> I just thought, hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dutch. First time pin flipping a, a guest. I love it. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the first time. He said that your man's hard remote. <laughs> hey, hey, Justin, we got we got to stick together, man. Don't worry about it. That's funny. All right, Paul. Paul, who are you listening to, buddy? So basically, I I do the uh, Americana, Texas country, Red Dirt. Uh, you know, the Zane Williams and your Mike and the Moon Pies, uh, JB and the Moonshine Band, all those. Um, and then, but predominantly, especially when I'm drinking, got the grill fired up and all that, you know, it's a, it's an old country, you know, the George Jones and the um, Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash and Ray Price and all that, you know, I get out there and do my thing. So that, that's what I'm, that's what I'm in. So. Bro. If you give Paul enough uh, liquid courage, he'll sing for you too. That's right. <laughs> oh, that, I think David Allen Cohen never called me by my name. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> that would be the first time so having a guest sing on on our thing here. So, yeah. all right, uh, Adam. Adam, what are you rocking, dude? If you roll through my Pandora, it's uh, uh, just a total mix. Anything from reggae to rock to rap to country. I got classical. My neighbor told me the other day, I got quite the sound system out here, and it was a Sunday, and I was rocking Neil Diamond Radio. And she wow. texted me, and she said, turn it up. So, That's awesome, man. Sweet girl. Yeah, everything. All right, hey, real can quick. I, dude, can, can I stop Justin everything real quick? Kelly. Justin Kelly just dropped a $100 Super Chat. Thank Big you, brother. Damn. That is hey, I'm gonna, awesome. I'm gonna hey, we're, we're, let's that. take a shot to that real we're quick. We're going to do a shot uh, to that. Oh, yeah. Shot, shout shot, out, shot. Shout out to yeah. Justin Kelly Seriously. from Princeton, Texas. He is uh, the man. Love, brother. Thank you. Love. That is a barbecue it. brother up there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, real Joey B just put 50 bucks in the chat. Thanks a lot, Joey B. Thank you, real Joey B. Real Joey. Awesome. Do that. Joey B. Thank you, guys. Again, all right. Tonight, go to Tough Like Jack Charity. So once all this gets paid out and worked out with YouTube and I get in my account, I'm dropping the check to Tough Like Jack, all right? So Thank you. anything that comes, so we're not doing the normal super shots. I mean, we're going to take shots. Obviously, you see what happened. Having a great time. But <laughs> we are going to just whatever gets done. All right, so uh, before I get to the next question, I'm actually going to send it to Kent in a moment. But uh, I wanted to shout out. We got a lot more people in the chat. I want to do our first giveaway. So yeah. we got Phil and Florence in there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Dead Broke Barbecue. Grill Marks is in the house. Louis Calamitas is in there. Uh, obviously, Justin Kelly. Thank you so much. The real Joey B is in there. King Kill Boss is in the house. Y'all, dude, that is great news, what you guys are doing with them super chats. Thank you so much. All right. So the first giveaway tonight, I'm going to handle it. Since I saw Mr. Dan Wright from Wright's Barbecue Company in the chat, we are going to do the first question of the night. I have my thing on live chat. All right. 
So what I, the first answer I see is correct. I'm calling it. Go ahead, Kent. Am, am I eligible or no? You're eligible, Kent. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to blurt it out, though. Nice. All right. Well, if you could blurt it out before I see it in the chat. All right, guys. Get ready for the question. Whatever I see first wins it. All right? First question for Dan Wright's Beef Lovers Blend. All right? Which two of the four members there worked together in the past? That's too easy. I'm not answering. All right, good. But for anybody who doesn't know the answer, it's Casey and Justin. Nice. That's that, not right. That is the worst giveaway ever. <laughs> hey, Tom Horseman, how you doing? <laughs> Justin Kenneth, baby back maniac. Got it. Good job, baby back maniac. Love you, brother. He doesn't, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. He's not eligible. I don't think he even barbecues. I think he's just doing all these cut-ups of other barbecue play people. Well, I tell you what, I did like his uh, video with uh, all the different cookers and everything on it. Pimp my grill. Pimp my grill episode yeah, two. I was, was the was guy great. in Ireland, I, I, I instantly went to all his social media. That guy is insane. All right, Nikki, Nikki loves love mukbang ASMR. How you doing? Uh, Canadian just sent one 1,000. What's up, guys? All right, so we have 80 in there right now. Thank you guys for all being here. Make sure you share this on your uh, your social media. Let's get some more butts in these seats so we can keep having fun and raising money for a good cause. All right. So before I send it over to Kent, Casey, we need to do something for my co-host with the most, my buddy, my friend, my pal. He needs a hat. I got you, brother. I was just, look, look, you know, for people. $24.99. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. He's got the wrong price. It's 30 <laughs> I got I got you though. Uh when we were doing the, the pre-chat, I was like, damn, CJ's got a hat. Like I was like, I need I need I need to get my I need to get my boy Kent one. I got you, brother. Um actually the OG hat that he's wearing right now, we're ordering right now. I got you, brother. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh sorry, Lewis. All right, so off the wall. Barbecue put $9.99 in there. Thanks a lot, brother. Mr. Dan Wright just put a 50 spot in there. Thank you, guys. Oh, Dan. Awesome. That's great. And thanks again, Dan, for uh, donating. Uh, so the next six or so questions, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to uh, give away Michael Petrie's It's Incredible Rub, right? All right, and you guys keep showing stuff to the camera, but you need to make some noise so we can see it. So, well, we're trying to not make noise. We just want to be the visual. I want to. I want to see what you're doing. Otherwise, it's a little little square. I want to see what you're eating. We got so right now. Right now, what we did before we got all this set up, um, we've got a tri-tip rolling. We've got some actual custom sausages made from Jeff Rogers, a, a North Texas barbecue addict member, um, Paul. Paul, the company name? Uh, Grumpy Pops Barbecue. Grumpy Pops Barbecue hooked us up with some awesome sausages. So we got stuffed peppers, we got tri-tip, and we've got awesome stuffed sausages from yeah. uh, Grumpy Grumpy Pops. Pops. Grumpy, Grumpy Pops, Pops Barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah, go right, check right them out. All right. So now that my business is done getting Kent a hat, Kent, do you have any questions <laughs> for the guys? Nope. Okay, maybe two. Um. First one, I'm um, assuming you know Robin Edwards? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, calling Kenneth out for a beer chug. Oh. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. That's what you want to do right off the bat. That's how that happens. Right now. Um, I just opened this one, so let me oblige you to open a brand new one. Let me just go ahead and oblige you to open a brand new one. Chug that one. No, 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 no. See, they just called it. Well, well that'll be my Do it right, right, huh? You got to open it if you get called on it. You got to open it. Shotgun <laughs> <laughs> it? beer. No. Get it <laughs> no. I ain't no, <laughs> no punk. So this is for <laughs> this is for Robin. I hey. feel like I feel like this is really close to how the what's new barbecue uh, conversation started. Oh yeah, yeah. But KC, we're, we're gonna cut you off at some point. Robin's the reason Blake's not. This is true. Cheers, cheers oh, yeah, to y'all. Right, right here. Hey, Robin's the reason Blake's not. Right here. Cheers Great to y'all. I'm no way to get Cheers. 
Here we go. This is going to take me a second, but y'all hang okay. tight. Okay. Well, here's the deal. While Ken is chugging a beer, um, Justin. Yo. Great shirt. Oh, you like that? Yeah. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. If, if I would have thought about it, I were, would have wore my shirt that says, uh, if you rub my butt, you can pull my pork. <laughs> I like that, Jack. I like All it. Right. I like where, it. Uh, where's Adam at? I'm right here. I'm on in. All right. What Adam. you got, Iowa? <laughs> Mister, that's Mr. Extreme North Texas to you. <laughs> Uh, what cookers you got lined up behind you? Ah, uh, to the left, what I can see, I got box fan. <laughs> yeah, there's box fan over there. I got uh, two pizza ovens on Weber kettles with the kettle pizza. I got a six burner flat top. Back over there in the corner, what started it all is a uh, OKJ. Okay ah. So funny story. A little over a year and a half ago, I joined NTBA, and all I had was my Oklahoma Joe. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I'm trying to cook two briskets, and they wouldn't fit. So I decided I'm mm -hmm. going to order a custom pit, which is the one that y'all see in the background. Now, I didn't have anywhere to put the, the big pit back there. So the building that you see behind me is all Kenneth's fault, and that pit is Kenneth's fault. I blame Ken for all of this. So does my wife. So. <laughs> well, she's, not she is. My, she's hiding over there. To be honest with you, your wife blaming him for your problem is more advantageous for you than you blaming Kenneth for the problem. Well, of course. I, mean, well, I blame Kenneth 110%. So to the left of the cooker, uh, to the left of the big pit is a uh, redhead. And then a 22 WSM. And then we got a copper performer. And then I got a green performer with a rotisserie on it. What y'all don't see. Is there a thing? Oh, we're going to move you. Kenneth is going to take you on a tour. Here we go. Oh, oh, my. All right. While you're touring real quick, Tom Horseman just put 25 bucks in the chat. Thank you, Tom. Hell, yeah. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Appreciate it. You got to go that way. I am so jealous right now. Why? I, I, you know what? I'm I'm having a hard time determining if we're in Texas, Wisconsin, or Minnesota <laughs> because both the horsemen's have that many pits. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys married. <laughs> That's Barely. crazy. Barely. So, <laughs> hey, for some reason, they keep us around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Oh, Adam. Adam, is your wife in the, in the proximity? Uh, she just went inside when Kenneth was doing the tour. She didn't want to be on camera. Uh, I was going to say, she's more than welcome to come on and say hi. We always love having the family come out. So if you want to bring your kids <laughs> out or whatever, feel free. Yeah. My 18-year-old's in his room making music or something. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what he does in there. I, I feel your pain. I have an 18-year-old also. I know. So what y'all didn't see, there's two PKs hidden. I think we've got every size of WSM, 14, 18, 22. Huh? Kenneth, you're already spilling stuff. Come on, dude. Let's What's that? Together. Kenneth's already spilling over there. Let's get it together. I know. Buddy. On me. In Leprechaun, there is a black stone right here. <laughs> it's just black right, stone. Stone. Right. right here. <laughs> black stoners. Right on. Right on. That's yeah. awesome. I got yeah. I got two twenty eights. I love my black stones. So Chad, we, Chad Lyle said he said, "What a setup! I'm jealous." I'm like, I'm jealous too. Hey, I will hey. tell you, it's all Facebook Marketplace. I think only other than that big pit behind us, I've only bought two brand new. Everything is Facebook Marketplace. Yep. So not check only, it out. Not only that, guys, but what y'all also need to understand is this is Lone Oak Kitchen and he's got a YouTube channel also. Go check him out. Uh, there's only four oh, videos. I, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Lord of me. Lord I, see, on, I see you. I see you. Alright. Sorry, Kent. I must have done something to upset you. Stay the fuck out of my chat. Hey, language. 
<laughs> Welcome to right. one. The Godfather jumps in the oh, chat man. and you're cussing me out. Well, stay out of my chat. <laughs> you hey, don't you pay me to read the too. chat. Don't pay me to do my job. Hey, hey. Pat, CJ wants you to say hi. Simmer down now. Damn. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Phil, Daddy Cooks is in the house. Obviously, T Roy Cooks is in the house too. Welcome, welcome, guys. Kent, go ahead, do your job. Please. Okay, that's better. All right, Mr. Mega Fred, uh, Kenneth, Big Miller Light, shout out and saying he just subbed to North Texas Barbecue. I appreciate you, brother. Cheers to my Miller Lite bro there. Appreciate you, man, for all the support. And speaking of NTBA, Rick's Barbecue and Blackstone wants to know, how does one join NTBA? You can hop over to Facebook um, and just search North Texas Barbecue Addicts. And, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it started with uh, people from North Texas, but really what we uh, really hone in on and, and harp on is just that you're a productive member of the community. So you don't necessarily have to be from North Texas to uh, be a part of the group, but just be productive and, and uh, you know, just, just be a good positive vibe to the community. Yeah. All right. I no just put everything. I just right. put the link to Lone Oak. Uh, kitchen in the chat. There it is. Y'all go check it out. Thanks, bro. Huh? All right. So, guys, make sure you're subscribed to Lone Oak Kitchen. I only saw there's like 58 people in there. So, y'all need to jump on that real quick. Show that boy some love. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, if you, if you guys Again, click, show, show more in the description. <laughs> if you guys click, show more in the description, you'll see the link for uh, What's New Barbecue the, and the new. Well, uh, YouTube channel for North Texas Barbecue Addicts. If, Make sure you subscribe you go, to that. Go ahead. If you Ken. go back, if you go back and check it out, the we did a 32 pound bone in rib roast, rib roast. and that was on that, Snake River Farms Wagyu. Um, shout out to Matador Meat and Wine. Um, we did that right here at Lone Oak Kitchen, and when when I was live, that was here. So if y'all enjoyed that, y'all go check them out. It was awesome. All right, and then uh, again in the the description below, you have Kent, myself, all our moderators. Make sure you subscribe to everybody in there. Uh, you know, Lono Kitchen, What's New Barbecue, all that. Make sure you guys are on top of it. I'm going as Kent's asking his next question. I'm going to find the Facebook link and I'll put it in the chat. Okay, so go ahead, Kent. All right, um, the way I see it, Lone Oak uh, just went up about five or six subs. So hell yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> I, I know it, when I collected it, it said I was number fifty. So, um, Keith Betag wants to know: go to wood, hickory, mesquite, or oak? Pecan, hickory, <laughs> hickory, number one, hickory. Remember hashtag hickory heat, hickory, hickory. Hickory, and then my, my second favorite is apple. So, like, honestly, my all-time favorite is hickory mixed with apple. My number one is pecan. I go I go pecan, and then every now and then I do mix with apple. But yeah. you, you know, want some truth? I'm going to give you some truth. I started with pecan, and it gave me the funny shits. <laughs> so I switched, <laughs> I switched to hickory. <laughs> Look at Kent. <laughs> so it's straight hickory at Lone Oak Kitchen. Even though we're called Lone Oak, we use post oak every once in a while, but mostly hickory. Fallen S barbecue gone. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, you know, up here, up here, everybody in extreme northern Texas or southern Canada. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody thinks a certain wood goes with certain meat. So for some of the judging and everything up here, you got to go against. Well, any judging, you go against what you like to, you know, appease the judges and cons. So, oh, I see shots being poured. All right, so Daddy Cooks just dropped fifty bucks in the chat. 
Daddy Hell Kirk, yeah. Phil, thank you so much. Awesome, Phil. Cheers, cheers to Phil. Welcome home, hey. too. So glad to have you back. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Welcome to Phil being home. Good stuff. I'm glad you're safe and sound and you're back with all your ladies, Phil. Cheers, brother. Oh, man. All right. Um, I tried to put the Facebook group link in there and it was not letting me. So I'll put the link down below uh, when I get when we get done. All right. For the North Texas Barbecue Addicts Facebook page. All right. I'm going to keep putting Lone Oak Kitchen uh, link in there, too. So y'all make sure you subscribe to that. I'll put the North Texas Barbecue Addicts in there, too. We got a lot of subscribing to do tonight, guys. We got to push these guys up. All right, Kenneth, Kent, go ahead. Sorry, buddy. Kenneth, Kent, whatever. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll go by Kent. You go by Kenneth. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> Taylor Lyles wants to know, Adam, what's your favorite smoker back there behind you? Come on through. Oh, Jesus. Who asked that question? Uh, Chandler Lyles. Mr. Lyle, do you have children? And if you do, you cannot pick a favorite. So, <laughs> you know, CJ, you know. I know. Okay, here's, here's the thing. It's like they tell you in the airplane. When the, when the mask drops down, figure out which kid is going to be your retirement fund, and that's your favorite. Exactly. Well, I only have one, and my wife is much younger than me, so they are definitely my retirement fund. But when it comes to the smokers, they're all set up different. I got some, two of the kettles are set up as rotisseries. Uh, two are set up as uh, pizza ovens. Um, the PKs are great for steaks. It just depends on what I'm cooking. There's really no favorite. Um, if I'm cooking a lot of food, I like the big pit behind me by uh, Triple G Group out of Prosper. Okay, so. you're doing you're doing a four meat KCBS. What four are you taking? Uh, I'm not all comp shit. So I cook for neighbors and friends. <laughs> so um, if I was cooking competition and if this big pit behind me was on a trailer, that's what I would take. Hands down, it's reverse flow and regulating the heat's real easy. It cooks like a dream. So I can't complain about it at all. But you can't right. go wrong with a Weber WSM and a kettle to sear your stuff. Or 17 of them. Or, or, or yeah, yeah, or yeah. that. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> All right. All right. Answer the question. Word, word. Okay, there he comes. KC. Uh, Big Kano Barbecue Show. What's your favorite pit? My favorite pit of all time, honestly, to the day. And you know, like I can't really. I can't really acknowledge any other factor of just like consistency it is the Oklahoma Joe. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got all kinds of things from the pits and spits. I've got the, the Traeger, the Timberline, um, the ugly drum, you know, the Weber love the Weber, but you know, the Oklahoma Joe just like is complete. When I think barbecue, what it produces is it is just like complete barbecue. So, Oklahoma Joe is is my uh, my answer. I, I, Kenneth, I gotta go with you. I love I love my OKJ too. So um, it, takes, it, it takes some tender love and care, but what you get out of it is real. Yeah, yeah. Um, one quick thing, CJ, I see you want to make an announcement, but speaking of Texas, the chef is here. So I want chef to say Johnny hey, Johnny. Chef Johnny, what's up, brother? Chef Johnny. Hey, uh, uh, I am caught up right now, CJ. So all right. Back to you. So, all right, cool. I uh, want to shout out to Cooking with Cat. Just put 25 bucks in there. He said, tough like Jack is outstanding cause. His 11-year-old son, Dustin. Did a mud run for that event a couple years ago. Uh, smash that. Cheers. Way to represent. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. It flew by me. Sorry. But thank you guys. Much appreciate those super chats. Again, all super chats are going, all proceeds of super chats are going to Tough Like Jack's Foundation. So very cool. All right. I say it's time for another giveaway. So uh, I don't know if it's Adam or Kenneth. Get those. Uh, 
Do Let's your, uh, let Adam do the first giveaway, and we'll let Adam wager the reason you win it. All right, Adam, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> What's the wager? All right, so you need a question for me, CJ? Yeah, we need a question. Well, y'all just asked, so I'm going to make it really, really simple. What cooker started it all for me when I joined NTBA? I have one smoker. What was it? All right, while they're answering, see Matt Horse Barbecue, Brian from Matt House Barbecue put 50 bucks in the chat. Thank you so much, brother. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, brother. All right, we're waiting for the answers. The OKJ, is that right? OKJ? Okay, that's right. it. Grill Marks is the big winner. Grill Marks? And they are. Are we going with uh, Heaven Made Products? Yeah, Heaven Made All right. Products. All right, we're writing you down. You got better penmanship. Grill Marks is Blake Edwards. Shout out to you, brother. Oh, that's Blake. I rescind that prize. Blake can't win anything. He was is supposed to be here tonight. <laughs> We lost. Uh, That's kind of messed up, brother. I'm teasing. All right. So you guys know who that particular person is? Yes. Okay. So you'll take care of getting that to him. I don't have to ask him to communicate. We got, we got a notepad running right now with the winners of Heaven and Brothers. All right, hey, CJ. Cool. What up? Look at uh, Baby Back Maniac's comment in the chat. Kenneth is a smoker that started it all off for Adam. Just ask his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I, I think I think Justin ought to be the winner. To be honest with you. <laughs> All right. So Grill Marks saying redonate a couple times. <laughs> so I, I assume that's on between you guys. So I'll let you figure that out. Can Can I just tell T Roy Cooks? Appreciate you, brother, for sharing the link, man. Appreciate you, barbecue, bro. Yep. Thank you, T Roy. T Roy is the Godfather. He's the one that he just everybody loves him. So. Hey, when I think Godfather, you know, there's a couple Godfathers in the mix, but you know, when, yeah. I, when I think Godfather, I truly like when like we're gonna go off on a tangent here, but when I realized YouTube barbecue existed, it was T Roy Cooks. So shout out to T Roy Cooks, obviously. Like that's that's what stemmed my love for social media barbecue. So appreciate oh, you, T Roy. Right on, T Roy. Uh, I got. I got to tell you, my first experience. I was a couple months into my channel. I saw T Roy's channel, and I see. I sent him a question on his Tuesday <laughs> chat or Thursday chat, and he answered it online and on on this one of his chats. And I thought, you know, a celebrity just shouted me out. I was giddy like a schoolgirl for sure, man. So, all right, next question. Uh, well, we talked about uh, Adam smokers. What, not your favorite smokers, but what do y'all have to do? Does your backyard setup look like uh, Adams? Yeah. What what I what I have going on is uh, I've got the barrel house cooker, I've got an ugly drum, I've got um, the pit barrel cooker, the Weber kettle twenty two with the slow and sear, um, Oklahoma Joe. I've got a IG barbecue charcoal grill, which is Santa Maria style. And then uh, pellet smoker wise, I've got the Traeger and the pits and spits. And then uh, we'll let we'll let Paul and Justin answer those questions as well. All right. Me? All right. So I've got three Oklahoma Joes. I've got two 22 WSMs, Weber Smoky Mountains. I got an 18. Uh, Smoky Mountain, a 14 Smoky Mountain. Uh, and then uh, because me and my dad and my sister were all on our, our own team, which is Fallen Ass Barbecue. And so they've got their smokers and uh, everything else like that. But that's predominantly what I use. My favorite smoker is the 22 Weber Smoky Mountain because it's like I can – Put the do the uh, minion method on there, and I can put I can fit four Packer briskets on that thing, and I can let it roll at 225, 250 for I can easily get about a 12 to 13 hour smoke out of it, and it's perfect. So that's what that's what we use, and that's what we even bring to competition. We don't have the trailer or anything. We just 
Oklahoma Joe and Weber Smoky Mountain. So oh, that's what we do. And last competition they were in, they got a little reward action. Yeah, we uh, we've been lucky. We've been um, we've actually competed in about uh, uh, ten competitions, and we've placed in every one of them. Um, fortunately, all but all but one. So out of the ten, nine, and the last competition, which was the Sergio Garcia. Thank you, Nick Fisher, for putting that on. Uh, we were able to get first place in brisket. So wow, that's what congratulations. It. That's very Thank cool. You. Wow, that's cool, cool, man. Thank you. All right. Go ahead, Justin. Justin. So let's see. Yeah. Start off, we got the uh, got what me and Ken like to call beast mode, which is our trailer smoker. It's got the big cabinet doors, it's got the rib box on the side, insulated fire box down below. Pull that around in the truck and that's what we can beat cater with. And then uh, the patio, you know, just got the typical same stuff. Weber 22, the WSM 22. I uh, got a Traeger uh, for the, on the belt smoker. You know, just kind of, kind of got me into that. Uh, I was always kind of wishy-washy about those. But, man, it's great if you just want to literally sit and get it. It's great. Um <laughs> Got a couple of little charcoal grills. They're kind of off brand. You just kind of pick them up at Walmart when you're out camping or something. But uh, so you know, a few smokers. Nothing like old Adams got here, but got enough to get me by. That's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how many people are like Adams level right now. <laughs> I just love how it's like. Well, that's all I got. Let me tell you what I have in my backyard. I have a pit barrel cooker. I have a 22 inch kettle. Uh, my brother-in-law left his Traeger over, so I believe that's now mine. So <laughs> I, it. I have like a Weber Genesis gas grill, which ever since I started cooking charcoal and wood, I haven't touched my gas grill. And a 17-inch Blackstone, because I'm a Blackstoner. What up? <laughs> I want a Blackstone. Oh, I that's forgot. I forgot. Purchase. I do have the Blackstone. So yes. I do have a yeah. Blackstone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we cooked on it the other night, and it was amazing. I need one of those. The food uh, and I do have pit drum is awesome. Too. One bit of and, hey guys, one bit of advice: whatever size blackstone you think you need, get the bigger one. Go up one size. Oh, just get the biggest one. <laughs> no, no, I tell you what, um, I got a twenty-eight inch, uh, the original one with the the front grease drain on it, and then the wife found another one with a rear grace. Rear grease, twenty-eight inch, ninety bucks. Eesh. That's awesome. If Please, you're going to do the hey, twenty-two, go hey, up Kent. to the twenty-eight. Hey Kent, um, yeah, Adam wanted me to ask you if the six burner was okay on the black side. If the six burner, six burner was all right on the black stuff. Actually, it's a trick question because Blackstone does not make a six burner, but I got a exactly. six burner. It's only, it's only four. I know. If you got the 28, it's two H burners. Hey, guys, real quick. Adam, Adam, uh, Justin from Baby Bag Maniac would love it if you would do uh, a quick uh, video of the inside of your your uh, outdoor kitchen there for his oh, next, next uh, deal. I got oh, you for me. his deal. Yes, Justin, I'll do that for sure. All right, I will cool. absolutely do that. And you know what? We'll try to fire them all up at the same time. I literally just told him that before right. this chat began. Right. I could literally. I could definitely see that. No, no. That'd be great for the Justin series he's got going on. Definitely. And uh, Cooking with Cad, we did not miss Mad Horse's donation. I shouted him out. Uh, I think half of them took shots. So. We like again. This is a marathon, not a sprint. We cannot down shots every five seconds. All right. Uh, I see he's Leprechaun. Can, he's bragging, Leprechaun bragging over. There. He has two thirty-six inches, uh, thirty-six inch uh, kettles and there a range go. top combo. So he has a hundred inches of grills griddle space. Well, technically, one is cousin Ted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, Bill says. Uh, Adam, you need to do it in an Irish accent as you go through there. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, I do uh, it right. naked before I did that. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Best Bites Forever, Alicia. Uh, she's in there. She asked about a new hat. 
I'm repping the North Texas Barbecue Addicts for my guys in the chat. I haven't gotten away from my uh, fedora, so don't worry. Is that uh, right? Yeah, thank God. Uh, so uh, so we got what well, said so we had 62 people in the chat. I think we had a high of like 70, so that's great. Again, make sure you guys are doing it. Uh, <laughs> Right, Barbecue said, uh, CJ, we're good on shots. We're professionals. It's true. We are. So uh, Keith Betax is <laughs> saying, saying good night. Thank you, man. Good night. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Where are your Speedo, Adam, from Girl Marks? Do you have a Speedo, Adam? No, but I'll buy one, and I'll make sure to get plenty of baby oil. All right. You can, you do it? To play can, you can you do it on Justin's video, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll my send God. I'll send that <laughs> I can like it. All right. So, okay, Casey, we we talked a bit on you know why you started the North Texas Barbecue Addicts. Uh, let's talk about why it took so long to set up a YouTube channel for it. Honestly, uh, to to extend it to something more than it was, I wanted the time to be right because it's not about me. It's about the community that is North Texas Barbecue Addicts. You know, all all that happened was a name was created and people bought into the situation. So for, for me to want to start a YouTube channel that encompassed that, I wanted to be sure that the community understood that it was all encompassing. It's not it's not all about me. It's about everybody that that exists in North Texas Barbecue Addicts. So. It, it, it was all about the right timing for uh, for for that to be uh, correctly received. Right on. That makes sense. What is the content going to look like? Because on your own channel, you're cooking, you know, one deal, whatever. Is this going to be more like out in the community or get togethers and stuff like that put together? Or is it going to be cooks like you do too? It's going to be completely different from what's new barbecue. You know, I, I really want to highlight the abilities that our community brings to the situation. You know, um, you know, a lot of the, the comments that I see is, you know, people cook amazing. But as well as y'all know, the editing and the, the software that goes into actually going on YouTube, it takes a little bit more in depth than just being able to cook. So. Right. What I really want to be able to do is highlight everybody in the North Texas barbecue addict community that feels like they want to be in on it. And I want to showcase their skills. So, you know, North Texas barbecue addicts is not just about me. You know, it's not just about Justin. It's not about Adam. It's not about Paul. It's about a big ass community about barbecue lovers. So, um, you know, 27 plus thousand members to be exact. So, it's not about me. It's about everybody. Right on. And don't forget big Chris Kano. You know, he's a big part. Big, big, big Kano's in on the love. <laughs> big Kano, dude. I love that guy. All right. He's got he's got a twin brother, so you get double Kano love. Right. <laughs> all right. So Jeremy T. 1982 said it's all about him. All right. So just keep that in mind. We love him, too. We do love him, too. Right. Cool, cool. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll let Kent uh, read text, uh, Chef Johnny's comment. All right, let's go ahead and do another giveaway, all right? I actually have a question for you. So uh, get ready to write it down, whoever wins. All right, so we're, we're talking about North Texas Barbecue Addicts Facebook group. What year did they – start and if you could get the month two you get two bottles all right so the oh, month and year they started june of 16. Fucking hey dude you're screwing this up dude that's Ken for wins people. give it to Ken. For the people in the chat all right so i i see 2016 scotty edwards he has june and 16 in there so scotty edwards you're the big winner hey love you brother love you scotty love you man scott tessery <laughs> All right, Scotty, uh, you win. Kenneth, you guys know how to get a hold of him, I assume. Yes, sir. We got we got it written down right here, and uh, Scotty's and he gets, a, a he very gets, active member. Two bottles. All right, two bottles. Two bottles in the life. All right, so that that's three of Michael's stuff down. So we have three more giveaways to go. Three more bottles. Sausage. Look at that sausage. Hey, All right. Barbecue, wow. baby. 
Keep it clean, oh. CJ. It does, it does look like a sausage fest over there. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, <laughs> it looks oh, like God, I got to cut it. Yes. That, that looks spectacular, guys. I'm jealous. <laughs> All right. All right, Kent, I'm going to give it to you real quick. I've seen a few questions roll by. Do you got anything to say to the people? Yeah, I got a couple questions for the boys. Um, this is for each one of you, so we will ask uh, – well, actually, I guess it's probably just for Kenneth and, and Justin. Um, it's from Chandler Lyle. What is your guys' favorite video on each of your channels? Favorite video. <clears throat> favorite if we can pull you away favorite. from your sausage. Favorite video on a YouTube channel. Hang on. We'll let Justin answer first. All you right, before you right. answer, Lewis Calum, you just put a $9.99 or $0.99 cent super chat. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate it, brother. Now go ahead and answer. <laughs> Lewis, thank you. Appreciate that. And and before we start, thank you to everybody who's donated to this cause. This is truly amazing. You know, Culver House family has been nothing but amazing to us. And all we want to do is try to get back to them. So everything we're doing is going to Tough Like Jack. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So favorite YouTube videos. Uh, man, there, there's so many. It's hard to just pick one out. I mean, Justin you, Timberlake. Yeah. I say one thing about Justin Timberlake, back. and all of a sudden, I'm the hugest Justin Timberlake fan. Right. But <laughs> anything Justin Wall Raven does, anything Key Roy Cooks does, anything my boy over here, Kenneth from Wesley Barbecue does, it's all good stuff. Any, anything that these guys follow or they, they do, you're going to find quality content. Um, I, I kind of like to watch funny dog and cat videos. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> so, there was that man card thing again. Move it on. Hey, hey, let me just start off with that's the whiskey talking. <laughs> so, so the, the, the question was favorite YouTube video, correct? On each of, of your own, on your channels. What on, is my, your... on my, on oh. my, okay, okay, that's tough. Um, to be honest with you, uh, my favorite YouTube video on What's New Barbecue would be the Tough Like Jack Barbecue Competition this following, this last year that just happened. It was flooded. You know, um, just to be real with you, I wanted to completely give up on the recording part of it, and I wanted to barbecue. So just to be real with you, my favorite opportunity to bring a video to YouTube would be the Tough Like Jack barbecue competition because it flooded. We had sheriffs come in and tell us that we're there, they're going to close the park down. If you don't leave now, you're stuck here. And every single team decided to stick around. So that, to me, is my all-time favorite video. I I can remember watching that one. I think the tent was ready to blow away. <laughs> you guys, you guys looked like a bunch of drowned rats at the end of that. I mean, to be honest with you, it was borderline no more fun. But we were there for the right reason. And I sent a message out to all the teams. I said, hey. You know, we got approached by the sheriff. We're either staying here or we're leaving now. And not one team out of 20 teams said they were leaving. So shout out to everybody that wanted to be a part of that and stick around. That's that's cool. That's cool. I've been through a couple events where, yeah, you know, the, the weather's not on your side and it's cook, rain, or shine. So... You're already there. You I, might I, well do it. If I said the smokers are already rolling, I don't really know what to do from here. Like, you know, like I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kenneth, do you know this guy, Jeremy T. 1982? No, sir. You don't know who that is? Not necessarily. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Not to my knowledge. 
I would never lie to you. Is it, is it maybe Jeremy Taylor? It's Jeremy T. Nineteen eighty-two is his YouTube what, channel. What, what's, he, what's he got going on in the kitchen? He says, uh, "You know, you know, Kenneth's feeling good when he's talking slow." Oh my! I talk God. slow often. I'm. I like if you if you know me, like to be real with you, I'm very monotone. I can't really help it. Like what? that's just it. Why you tried this? That looks. Oh, oh, hey, hey, where's ours? Right Come here, on, bro. Yeah. Right, right here in North Texas. Come on, right. it. it's a long drive from extreme North Texas to North Texas. We, we offer extreme North Texas tri tip. Yeah. <laughs> that All so right, um, Bill from Chicken Fried Barbecue got a question. Do all the posts on NTBA need approval? Yes, they every single post, unless you comment on a post, every single post needs approval. And that's because we're we're a big believer in quality over quantity. We don't want just anything commented. We don't want just anybody to be able to banter where they want. Um, you know, uh, it's very much so you've got to keep it barbecue related and we're not about negativity. So yes, very much. So every single post is, is either approved or, de or, or declined. I, you know what? I got to say, I like that idea. I do yeah. too. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, the to BS. That answer. let me backtrack to that answer and shout out to every single admin every single moderator that really makes that happen you know we're four people there's 30 there's 30 admin and at least 28 moderators that really make north texas barbecue addicts happen and shout out to every single one of y'all like it, it it takes a team teamwork makes the dream work yeah. all right um let's see I'm caught up, gentlemen. That's all I have for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cooking with Cad just slipped one in under the wire. Uh, <laughs> ask, ask Kenneth if there can be an NTBA chicken salad cook-off. There's, there's been a. Uh, this has got to be. Yeah. This has got to be an internal joke from North Texas Barbecue Addicts. So yeah. let me. Let me backtrack to where that question stems from. There was a person that was only interested in posting on North Texas Barbecue Addicts about his chicken salad. And, and, you know, that's all good if it's smoked. That's just how it rolls on North Texas Barbecue Addicts. If you smoke it, it can be posted. So, but his end-all be-all is I'm the best smoked chicken salad in Dallas. Hands down. Every single time he posted was, I'm the best chicken salad, smoked chicken salad recipe you will find in Dallas. So, you know, every let me backtrack. We're not about advertisement, first off and foremost. Yeah. We go to the community. We go to the North Texas Barbecue Act members. And then, you know, things stem off from there. But. If the only reason you're a part of North Texas Barbecue Addicts is to advertise what you have going on, we're just not about that life. So he got booted, and his his uh, so we started a hashtag, Fuga Chicken Salad, and you know that was the weekend warrior competition that week was in honor of Homeboy that decided he was the best smoked chicken salad in life that ever existed in Dallas. We were going to do a weekend warrior challenge of smoked chicken salad. Shout out to the Hard Luck Barbecue for winning that weekend warrior. Hard Luck Barbecue got that bad boy, and uh, they made some awesome chicken salad. And I was actually able to taste it, and it was really amazing. But that's where that question stems from, is somebody <laughs> that was really just about promoting chicken salad and the fact that they're the best. So we're not about that life. Yeah, it's hard to be the best. That's that's funny right there. I get a kick out of that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, Alicia at Best Bites Forever said, if you smoke it, it can be posted. Ain't no lie about it. 
she's saying that's a pretty loose rule. Hey, if you smoke it, <laughs> you, you might, can hey, you might it. end up with guys with pipes and zippos. I'm just saying. Hey, we're about the cigar life. We're about the beer and alcohol life. But most importantly, keep it barbecue hang related. Hang on. Can we just 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 common sense? That's all we ask. We know what smoking is and barbecue is. Just yes. common sense. That's all we ask for. Definitely with cooking with Cad and prayer for Lindsay Resick for her and her husband. They are going through a pretty hard time right now. So... Shout out to our North Texas Barbecue Addict members. Actually, their admins, uh, Travis and Lindsay, very hard times for their family right now. Um, like, all barbecue aside, all of this aside, shout out to them and their situation. Absolutely. All right. That uh, definitely, you know, barbecue, you know, we talk about the cooking community, the barbecue community so much. But it's just a forum to meet people and get to know people. And when you have real life stuff like that come in, come into play. Um, we've had uh, other people in the community that have uh, battled the cancer, you know, battled health issues. And uh, it's, it's just a good forum to uh, get some more support and some more prayers. So the most important thing we can take away from tonight from you know this whole live chat is barbecue and cooking in general can do a lot for your local your local area if if you can cook if you can barbecue if you got some food that tastes great offer it to your surrounding area to to better your situation to better your surrounding areas to like it blows my mind for people to be like hey barbecue can better this situation like keep that in mind that's all that's all i'm saying is keep that in mind you're cooking your skill set your barbecue whatever you do if it's in the kitchen if it's on the grill keep that in mind it can completely be a game changer i i totally agree with you kenneth so um cj that's all i have for right now right on the uh Somebody else donated a super chat. I know you want to shout out, so back to you. Definitely. T-Roy Cooks dropped a Tony spot in there. Thank you, T-Roy. It's all going to a great cause. You know, the tough like Jack, you know, it kind of hits hard home with me. Obviously, you know, you know, Kent was talking about, uh, you know, people dealing with cancer in the community. You know, my son just got cleared. You know, uh, he's back to school. You know, he, he had a rough time, but he fought through it. So all this stuff hits home for me. So that's why I was so glad to help out and do something like this. You know, I'm always down to help raise money for great causes and especially ones that hit home. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, again, all the super chat proceeds are going to tough like Jack. Uh, Miss Booger just put the, the link in the chat for uh, tough like Jack.com. So y'all yeah, check it out. Um, but again, thank you guys for all the super chats tonight. It looks like we've made a, a pretty healthy amount of money for sure. Uh, so uh, I see Cookie with Corey's in the chat. Corey, how you doing? Phil and Florence had to take off. He is actually a future guest. He is going to be on May 30th. So Phil and Florence jumped in. He's going to be part of the hot seat. So I'm excited to talk to him. There's no giveaway, but he's showing up. So I'm excited about that. So let's get well, started. Even if there is no giveaway and – Phil's on the channel. You know he's going to win. He's going to win something. We'll figure it out. <laughs> all right. All right. So, all right. I'm kind of coming to the end of my questions, guys. So, if you have any more questions for the chat, throw them in there. Uh, if you have any more donations, make sure you get them in there. Again, it's all appreciated, and it's going to a great cause. It does take a month or so for me to be able to donate, but I will share it on Facebook. I'll share it in the in TBA. Uh, Facebook group. I will make sure it's known that we've donated, but you know, I just have to wait for YouTube to send me the money. So, but keep them coming if you can. Everything's appreciated. Thank you guys so much. All hey, right, CJ, CJ, don't worry about all the technicalities of it, brother. I know, I know there's YouTube processes. I know there's just the process in general. Just, right. just hit me up. Let me know what works, and it's all good, brother. Appreciate yeah, you. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as we get it. And, uh, you know, tomorrow I'll have some kind of. 
maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll have some kind of idea of all that, all the, you know, estimated. No, I just appreciate you for letting me continuously shout out Tough Like Jack. That's really, I mean, you know, if I've got the ability to be out here in front of people that love cooking, they love barbecue, they love to be here, like, if I can just shout out that more so, that's just the most important thing to me. So I truly appreciate you, brother. Definitely. Thank you so much. Uh, Cookie with Corey, drop 20 spot in there. Thank you so much. Heather, are there any ways to donate? Um, you can obviously go to Tough Like Jack and donate yourself if you'd like. Um, my PayPal link, I believe, is below. If you want to send me via PayPal, I'll make sure it all goes to the right spot, okay? But we appreciate all these donations coming in. This has been a huge thing for us. Um, Baby Bag Maniac says he's uh, got to put his kid to bed. Thanks, everybody, for supporting Tough Like Jack and the NTBA. It's good what you're doing here. Thanks, Cookie. What's he do? Justin, you're the man. I love you. Uh, dude, I can't wait to give you a big old bear hug one of these days when I get out to Texas. So, Or y'all can come out to California. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. So uh, I got a question that was directed towards me from uh, Bert, uh, Big Kurt Barbecue. Uh -huh. um, he said, you know, what is your secret in uh, what was brisket and winning competition? And there's uh, no secret for me, you know, I do uh, Dalmatian blend, you know, salt, pepper, um, throw it on the smoker. We don't wrap. Um, and I know the whole thing on brisket, fat side up, fat side down. We do we do it both. We, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's the biggest debate I know in barbecue is fat side up, fat side down on brisket, pork, but whatever. We do both. Um, you know, normally on competition, we go fat side down because we do it in our 22 uh, Weber Smoky Mountain. Uh, we don't wrap. We let that bark build with our salt and pepper rub that we have. Uh, we have our own rub at Fallen S that we use for our brisket. And um, we just cook it. And then right there at the very end, when it hits that 203 mark, we put it in the cooler and let it rest and slice it up. So... No, no secret. It's just, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So there All it right. is. Well, hey, Paul, do me a favor. Stay out of the chat. You just upset my co-host because that's his job to ask you questions. So don't read them from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you got so many. You weren't looking. I'm sure you weren't looking, but he was throwing his pin up and down like you wouldn't believe I it. That I've you seen got, it you got so. <laughs> you got, hey, hey, Paul, do me a yeah. favor. Read the chat now. It's <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, real quick. Chandler Lyles dropped 20 bucks in the chat. And he says he's going to yeah. the bed. So Chandler, thank you. Alicia from Best Bites Forever dropped 20 bucks oh, in the chat. Alicia, thank you so much. I'm actually going to be hanging out with her in July. Her and her husband are coming over to the house at the end of July. We're going to do some live streams. We'll get a couple more SoCal YouTube cooks in here, too. So hopefully we'll have a big meetup again. So that's awesome. Paul, stay the F out of the chat, please. You guys, eyes up. Eyes up. All right? <laughs> so pay attention. All right. I was looking at your titties. Yeah, eyes up. I, hey, my eyes are up here. Adam. Yeah. <laughs> <Not here. laughs> all right uh let's see here uh t roy uh he said him and justin travel you guys are welcome in my house any damn time all you guys in the looney bin over there you're welcome you guys come out to california i'll show you guys a great time and, and the best part of it is you can leave you don't have to stay in this state and have to deal with all the bull crap we have to deal with so <laughs> You can always move to Texas, CJ. You know, it's true. Uh, we, I, I have definitely thought about that in the past, but I think if I ever move out of SoCal, it's going. we're going further uh, uh, further west. We're going towards Hawaii. So that's 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 the retirement lifestyle right there. I mean, you might come to Texas and uh, realize you need to stay. Yeah, I'm sure. I've been there a couple times from work, and I, get, I had a great time each time I was there, but I, I don't know, you know. I'm a, I'm a so that's through. All right, guys, let's ask a question right now. Uh, or my wife just jumped in the chat. She said, or we're moving to Europe. So, <laughs> great. Thank you. 
That's, uh, a, that's a win win. Mr. CJ, your vote doesn't count. Oh, yes, wow. She did. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, next question uh, for a bottle of heaven made products. It's incredible. What is Paul's nickname? First answer I see wins it. All right. What is Paul's Paul nickname? It's a good Paul. question. It's a good question. I think so. You got to spell it correct. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Lots of Californians in Texas. I know I have a lot of friends out there. Cooking with Cad got it and fry. You guys got that over there? Cooking yeah. with Cad. Cooking with Cad. All right. Cad. C-A-R. All right. Very Phil good. Sharp. Very good. Brother Philip Sharp from Real Texas Barbecue. Yeah. That's it. All right. Cooking with Cad got it. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to do one more giveaway because we're kind of running low. We have two more bottles to give away. So get ready for the next question. Yeah, we got three more. We got no, because uh, uh, the one guy we gave two bottles to. Oh, no. We still got three. He's only getting one. <laughs> He's only getting one. All right. All right. Hey, I still I still feel like we still got three, is what I'm going to say. Yeah. He can get two. We still got three. All right. All right. Fine. All right, next giveaway. Next giveaway. You guys ready? What is Casey's favorite beer? Kenneth Cunningham's favorite beer. Cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. All right, let's see. Okay, Miller Lite. Fine. Bullshit. It's water, basically. A little bit of water, a lot of bit of beer. <laughs> what, is, what is it? All right, right barbecue company, Miller Lite. Damn Damn right. Right. Up, so we got one barbecue rub company getting drugs from another barbecue company. I love it. Hey, <laughs> hey, I just need you to understand that's the beauty of the barbecue community. They're all they're all, they're all ready to to love each other and support each other. That's what it's about, man. You know, like they all got something special going on. And uh like Dan has wrote he, he's wrote me a couple times and been like, hey, I want to try this. And he orders it. And, you know, and vice versa, you know, and, and any other seasoning company, they order it and they support those companies as well. And that's what really makes those those people awesome. Like, they understand they got like-minded situations and they want to support each other. So that's real. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I'm digging that so much. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. We have a Roomba, you know, the little automatic vacuum for whatever freaking reason is going on right now. Of course. And I can't yell at Alexa through the wall. So this is ridiculous. I didn't want to ask about your battery operated uh, devices over there. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. All right. Hey, we got guys, guys one thing real quick. Go ahead, buddy. After doing this with CJ for what eight months, you kind of get used to his battery. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm not saying I'm sensitive, but it hurts a little bit in here. <laughs> right there. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me let me uh, let me stroke your ego a little bit, and you'll be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that right there. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right, hey, while you have that out, I gotta share this. I know you guys might see it on my Facebook, but you're not cool unless you have. I need. Hey, I equally need one of those. <laughs> the one of these is going in my five thousand subscriber giveaway. If I ever freaking get there. You'll get there, brother. He's hey, hey, hey. What? Christmas gift. Yes, sir. Favorite boy, just saying. Uh, hey, hey, I hey, sure. hey, next Monday gift. <laughs> <laughs> I will make sure Mr. CJ a bunch more of those put, put out, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get those out to the people. I was thinking hey, about If you're on the hot seat, I think you should get one. Yeah. 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 True. For sure. <laughs> Shit. If that's the case, hey, if that's the case, I got enough. I can send a pair to about 20 different people. As many oh, hundred. Hey, 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 what I'm hearing is Kent's my dude. Kent's, <laughs> Kent's my dude. Listen. Dude, I can probably supply MTBA 
with <laughs> CJ Oven Mitts. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, but wait a minute. I have a question. Hey, guys, CJ, hey, are hey. they all left handed? Uh, they're all right handed. Sweet. I right. I don't know. Whatever. Right handed. They're all right handed. This is standing right over here. She is willing to make a bunch of. I was gonna do merch at some point, and I thought I'd do like shirts and hats. But who knows? You know, I'm gonna have oven mitts. Those you know, these are way better. Way better. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, food cooking's in the house. What's up, Robert? How you doing, brother? Good to see you in there. Uh, sleazy pawnbroker CJ said it nice. All right, guys. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm you said we have two more bottles left, Casey. Yeah, we got two more bottles of heaven made products. It's incredible. So All right, I want to let Kent come up with a question and we'll let uh, we'll let uh, let's see here, Casey, you come up with a question. All right, so get those in your head. I'm gonna ask you another question real quick. Hey. Can I can I make what can I make up one of the questions? Yeah, I just said you have that cooked all right, CJ. That looks freaking good, brother. Yes. Uh, it's it's yeah. actually eat it if you put it in front of me. So <laughs> here we go. So I mentioned earlier, first question: three cities or towns, however you orient them, that North Texas barbecue addict started from. What are those three cities or towns? Oh, that's a thinking one right there. Hey, I'm, I'm here to peek. <laughs> McKinney's one. All right, T. Roy, I I will get you a fedora. Actually, I'm going to Vegas this weekend. We'll hit the hat shop. I will send you a fedora. Right, Speed Oh, you got your Vegas shirt on. Look at you. Yeah, ain't I? What's up? Uh, Princeton, McKinney, and Frisco. Is that right? Hello, Casey. He's not there. He gone. That sounds right. All right, sounds right to me. Cooking with Cad, you get another bottle. Good job, Cad. Cooking with Kathy. Somebody write that down. Cooking with Cad. Cooking with, with Cad. Oh, with Cad. Well, what does that say? He won. He won another. He won. He did. Uh, Prince Prince and Prince 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 Prince. That's the one. And then uh, uh, Big Rome. He said the same thing. In their PJs. I am not putting oh, your. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We, to be honest with you, like, let me recap. We've got we've got grill marks here that said McKinney, Princeton, Wiley. That's the answer. McKinney, Princeton, Wiley. Like, I just realized. Like, let me recap. Here we go. McKinney, Princeton, Wiley. That okay, so grill that's Grill Marks. Marks. Grill Marks has that. So good yeah. job, Grill Marks. All right, so you all writing that down. Good job. All right, Kid, you got the next one, brother. Um, let me ask you another question real quick. Um, Here we go. Hey, taste test. Uh, you guys are killing us, man. It's not fair. We're just in here trying to eat. Pit master privilege right here. <laughs> the whole damn hunk of meat is not the pit master marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know a lot about a lot, but I know that's not pit, pit master yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, CJ, when you ain't there, they can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So this is pretty much going to be my last question, and then we'll let Kent uh, ask the giveaway question. Um. What is your all's jobs besides uh, barbecue freaks? Okay, so I work for uh, a natural gas company, and I'm a uh, field uh, superintendent. So I basically ensure that all the uh, uh, all of our natural gas systems are repaired and uh, installed uh, correctly, and that's what I do. So. Yeah. So uh, what Paul uh, said is he uh, a lot of refried beans. You're asking how you donate. If you look down at the bottom of the chat where you typed it in, see the little dollar sign? Click on that. It'll let you um, slide it over to whatever amount you want to donate. All right, Adam, go ahead, bro. Uh, project manager for a commercial concrete company. I yell at people all day. That's all good. Fun. I dig it. Yeah. Yep. 
All right. Justin. Justin. Justin's, Justin's up. Uh, I work in mortgage industry. It's fun. <laughs> we do everything from originations to uh, default servicing. So you, right on. Did you, you know, know, did you know <laughs> Justin, did you one? Justin, did you know that I was in or I am in the mortgage company? I'm in the mortgage industry. 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 From lending originations to default servicing. So I'm the I'm a closing manager. Are you really? Yep. Hey, we need to talk after this video. I, I handle all the fundings. So well, that, that okay. explains the Justin Timberlake connection. I, uh, <laughs> all right. You know so I, hey, Mike, hey, Mike, you should be in the industry okay. too, buddy. Hang on, hang on one second. Let, let's go back a little bit because we, we did do the whole uh, Justin Timberlake thing. I told you about you know trolls and all that, and then everybody got talking about their favorite music, and I, I really never did. Everybody just assumes that just I just jammed Justin Timberlake twenty four seven, which is not really true. <laughs> um, I only do when my kids are in the car, uh, you know. So um, I, I I like classic rock and uh, and country music and rap and exactly. I, like I like everything. You like Pink? I like Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Another, <laughs> but yes, I'm in the mortgage industry. It's not that fun. Never grew up, thought I was going to be in it, but you know what? It, it happened and it pays the bills. And it pays the bills. Exactly. It pays and the bills. Eventually, we are going to do barbecue for a living. And yeah, yeah. Okay, Chef, yeah. Have a great night, Chef. <laughs> Thanks for talking about, brother. All right, Kenneth, what are you up to these days? So I'm still project managing. Um, con general construction. I've went from paint to uh, commercial hardware and doors. So I'm in the sales and estimations. Um, and what I've realized is barbecue can be equally involved as sales and estimations as anything. So what I what I've started doing is bringing barbecue to the sales and estimations forum. So like, who doesn't like barbecue? So that's what I've really started doing is uh, just kind of blending the two together, my, my job style and my lifestyle, and uh, just staying true to what I want to do. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right, Alicia, have a good night. Chef said good night. I think we had a couple other people say good night, so I appreciate you guys all being here. If any of my moderators want to throw who's, uh, how many people we still have in the chat, mm -hmm. throw it in there. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're run, we're closing time almost. So if you got some, uh, you want to make a donation, throw it in there real quick. Hit the little dollar sign underneath where you type out your comment. Uh, again, all proceeds are going to uh, Tough Like Jack. We got 45 in the chat. Very cool. Easy Bake Barbecues in the house. Nice of you to join us today. Where were you when I needed all the links put in? I can't believe you had to like work tonight. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, great job, guys. Um, Kent, go ahead and ask the last giveaway question. Okay. Well, I got a couple things before that. First okay. of all, Leroy, Kenneth, um, happy birthday to your son next week. T Roy wanted to put that in the chat. Hey, so, uh, I appreciate you, brother Troy. You know, uh, he's he's equally loving barbecue. You know, he's got his own smoker thanks to this guy right here. <laughs> he, he, he he hooked my son up with his very first smoker, so. Yeah, I appreciate you, T. Roy, like completely. Thank you. Hell yeah! All right, Rustin Cattle Company just dropped twenty five bucks in there. Thank you, Rustin Cattle. Hey, yeah. Thank yeah. you, baby. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, next thing is for the members of Hickory Heat Barbecue. Um, if you guys want to rock the NTBA in Extreme North Texas. There is a competition here uh, September 28th. Let me know. Where, where, where at? Exactly? Where at yeah. Extreme uh, North Texas. Extreme North Texas. Y'all just got Texas. called out to go to the land of the pigs. Yes. <laughs> All right. Morning, yeah. uh, hit us up with some information. I'm not sure where Extreme North Texas is, but I'm about that line. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the ice cream capital of the world, Lamar's, Iowa. So, 
<laughs> Iowa. Oh, Iowa. <laughs> we had to figure that out. Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I guarantee if you guys if you guys drive up, you won't have to pay the seventy five dollar entry fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, do, hey, Kent, do we got a place to stay? Yes, you do. <laughs> In his garage. <laughs> yeah. right uh, you couch. know what, um, Paul? You know Adam, Justin, you can stay with me in the Winnebago. Kev, uh, Damn it, sleeping in the garage. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kenneth. I, hey. I try to give you nothing but love, and I get no love. <laughs> Kenneth, it's either that or you're the little spoon. I'm just saying. <laughs> little spoon. Hey, Kenneth has played little spoon before. <laughs> All right. Um, giveaway question. What is Kenneth's go-to pit? Mm. Easy. There were, hey, there was that one and there was the real one. That's yeah. right. That's that right. That's that right. That's right. That's hey, Kenneth, you got to watch the chat. Yep. Watch the chat. Hey, Smoke out. Oh. Oh, is this cooking with cat? Cooking with cat. Cooking with cat. Cooking with cat. Cooking yep. with cat. Philip Sharp and the Big, Big Kurt came in second. Big Kurt came in second. So Chicken we got Pick and McCann. Kurt gets it. Well, no, we're Kurt gets it. Line. We're keeping line. We're keeping line. You know, I gotta, I gotta say, I agree with you. I love my OKJ. Hey, I've got to be honest. I've never modded it. I've never done anything specific to it. All I have ever done is run smoke through it and continuously barbecue with it. And it turns out the best barbecue that that I could ever create, to be honest with you. Especially for the price of the, the smoker, Kenneth. I, I got to agree with you, but I did. You remember when Meat Cranium did his mod with the extra grill grates, how you lay one out of 45, one down yeah. Wrapping them with aluminum foil. I actually cut four inch steel and welded two pieces flat and one out of 45. And that's given me even better results. Oh, yeah. I believe it. Uh, like it, it continuously blows my mind what comes off the Oklahoma J just stuck. You know what I mean? Like if you really hone in and want to make that your smoker, you can season it well enough to where it's, it's you know, it's productive. It, it, everything flows good, um, you know. And then when you go from there and modify it, it just gets better. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, <clears throat> guys, that's all I got for you tonight uh, as far as questions. So, Justin, Adam, Kenneth. Paul, let's get in thank here. You, so thank you guys very much for being on. Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to CJ. I'm sure he's got, knowing him, a thing or two to say because <laughs> I've never known him to be quiet. So thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, Kent. Thanks, Kent. Love you, Appreciate brother. you. All, All right, right, guys. Take care. Great job, Great job as always, Kent. You're, you're the man, dude. Uh, the four of you guys, go ahead and say your goodbyes to everybody. And uh, we'll uh, all end it up for you guys. So say goodbye. Say goodbye to everybody. What up? Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, we'll let Paul. We'll let Paul start it out. Hey, y'all, man. I appreciate you being here today and tonight, and all the questions and all the the donations. That's super cool. I mean, like because we we all all of us here we do the tough like Jack. So the donations go like super far. So and I really, you know, appreciate all everybody's involvement, and it's just been an awesome night. So, again, thank you from the bottom of our heart from NTBA, and y'all are so awesome. So, there you go. Guys, I just want to say thank you. It means the world to us to be able to do this, one, and two, to know that there's something special behind it. Especially something like tough like Jack, which which to me is very personal. Um, I, I just don't know what to say. Your support has been extremely appreciated, and, and guys, keep barbecuing. 
and keep supporting this cause because there's nothing greater. Let's let's, let's end kids' cancer. That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Before, Adam, before Adam goes, guys, whoever's in the chat still, I'm going to put the link for the hangout that we're on right now in the chat when we're all done. So uh, it fills up quickly, so you got to click on that bad boy quick. But jump in the chat when we go off the air, okay? So I'll put it in the the link in the hangout or the hangout link in the chat once we're done chatting. But uh, jump on when you can, okay? All right, go ahead, Adam. Hey, CJ, I just want to say thanks for having us. You're Pretty welcome. awesome, Kent. Nice to meet you. I've chatted with CJ on Messenger. He's a great dude. Aside from his YouTube channel, he's a straight up. Dude. You're awesome, bro. Thank Hopefully you, get to meet you one day. Well, These clowns that surround me, I all met in NTBA besides Kenneth, which I regret, but that's a whole nother video. We'll <laughs> um, another chat about that. Yeah, it's a whole nother hot seat, just Kenneth Cunningham. <laughs> Let's say just one thing real quick. Hey, CJ and Kent, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't say thank you guys for what you've done. Thank you so hey, much. No it's worries, our pleasure, man. It's our pleasure. Y'all are awesome. Definitely. And, and if y'all aren't members of NTBA, jump on over. We'd love to have you. And from Lone Oak Kitchen, thanks for everybody who subscribed. I only got four videos, but I like them. I'll get to some more one day. <laughs> so, peace. Thanks, guys. Thanks Good again, y'all. Appreciate y'all. You got to start somewhere, right? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, hey, see you. So I I, I believe we're at the wrap up. What I want y'all to understand is, uh, you know, North Texas barbecue addicts has progressed to what it is. But what I really want you to understand about the community is we're really family oriented, friendly oriented, and we want to better our surrounding community. So I completely appreciate Kent and CJ for involving Tough Like Jack in this this live chat that, you know, We've got all these channels that, that get on this hot seat, but this is true. This is real, 100%. Tough Like Jack is, 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 you know, barbecue, it stems me, but Tough Like Jack keeps me motivated. So I, I, I appreciate y'all. All right, man. Thank you, KC. Adam, Paul, Justin, you guys are great. Uh, I was a little worried about how this was going to go tonight just with so many people in the chat, but – it went well. I love talking to you guys. I hope we can do it again next year, something like that, have more people in. I hope someday we can get out there and meet all you guys and, you know, have the guy from Extreme North Texas meet us down there too. And uh, we'll have a great time. Guys, uh, again, thank you so much for all of the, uh, the super chats tonight for Tough Like Jack. Again, once I get all that money from you too, I will – show how I donated it, and I'll put it in the Facebook so you guys know what's up. I yeah. truly appreciate you, CJ. Thank you, sir. Appreciate oh, you. This is awesome, brother. Awesome. And you guys are awesome for giving all those those chats in there. I think we raised a pretty healthy amount tonight. So great job, everybody. Um, next week's guest, next Thursday's guest is Alton from the Godfather's Barbecue. So it will be nice to chat with him. It's going to be a good time. Uh, no, I think he's a member of North Texas Barbecue Addicts, too. Yes, uh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. A barbecue All right. Right. So it's going to be great to have him on there. Uh, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to put the link in the Hangout. Don't jump in until we jump off. See you all next week. Have a great weekend. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>